coach Syed Abdul Rahim's watch India had the golden age of football and a lot of times the Indian team has film us ko team of comebacks kaha jata hai which is probably fitting because this film has an amazing comeback in the second half I am Pratik Sharma and you are listening to my review of Maidan Even if we look at the story just as bare bones just a basic story hai is of a man who is so inspiring that he put together a team that could take on formidable opponents like the south korean and japanese football teams at the global stage that story itself is inspiring enough par maidan mein itna spirit hai itna verb hai just bas itna jazba hai ki the entire time you're engaged to the screen no matter what happens it's not that like the film doesn't have flaws jo film ka first half hai isn't nearly as fast paced as the second half considering second half mein humko zyada tar sports dekhne ko milta hai Ajay Devgan plays Rahim who was born in Hyderabad but unka kaafi samay Calcutta now Kolkata mein bitta tha jahan pe sare professional negotiations hote the that's where he would kind of talk to the members of the federation tell them what the problems are assure them that he can do this that he can make a successful indian football team even though unpe koi bharosa nahi karta tha Ajay Devgan plays Rahim Saab with a kind of quiet restraint which works perfectly perfectly for this character bahut jagah hai jahan unka spirit toot jata hai where everything is being taken away from him through a little fault of his own and you see you see the little subtleties that ajay devgan brings into his performance jahan pe aapko dekhne ko milta hai i kind of am iffy about sports dramas or just sports docu dramas i guess that focus on an inspiring person because you never know if they will do justice to the film or can i just give it to formal like film making and that just feels like a disservice to the protagonist so there are points where the film is dramatic for drama say where it is pushing the audience to feel something i didn't like those scenes a lot but at the end of the day the film doesn't do disservice to the character or to the person that it is portraying some sequences however can feel a little drawn out especially the ones that are kind of predictable jo the federation ke meetings hote hain usme there are these democratic elections that take place jahan pe log haath utha ke vote karte hain all three times if i'm remembering right that this happens is kind of predictable if you understand this public sentiment you know how the voting is going to go if you understand how drama is shown in films you also know exactly kaun sa insaan haath pehle uthayega so these scenes when stretched out for dramatic tension kind of feel a little boring over tension translate nahi ho pata hai there are also some things that stand out like a sore thumb a lot of these actors are playing bengali characters Some of them feel a little caricaturish. It feels like the dialect is put on the character instead of the character just being from Bengal, and that does feel a little jarring. Considering some performances do it brilliantly well in the same film. It's also the fact that Rudrini Ghosh, who plays Rahim Saab's biggest adversary, I would say, just the biggest thorn in his side, isn't given much in terms of characterization. This is supposed to be our quote-unquote antagonist, along with the sports journalist that Gajraj Rao plays. But unka character itna fleshed out hi nahi ki it can seem that menacing. Because this is someone who has a lot of power to make things go wrong, and he does. But it just sometimes feels like you're watching Scar from the Lion King on screen. Or as a filmmaker, her tension is very, very important. A villain that doesn't seem very sketched out just feels boring, and it takes away from the tension of the conflict as well. This, however, is balanced out by the sequences between Ajay Devgan and his team even before it is formed. He goes all around the country, putting together a ragtag bunch of men to make his Indian football team. From scouting a star player from the stands to finding a man who plays brilliant football just in the gullies of Secunderabad, these sequences are some of my favorite parts of the film. The team building in Maidan is also very much like the Chak De India template, जहाँ पे players चाहे कहीं से भी आए, they belong to Team India. The team in question features some new faces and some relatively known faces, but each and every actor fits their character perfectly. कहीं पे भी ऐसा नहीं लगता कि they have put on the face of a character. These are football players through and through. My favorite is Chaitanya Sharma, who plays PK Banerjee or PK for short. He played the role so well that I became a fan of PK only. Just absolutely perfect. Just his energy, his screen presence is magnificent to see on screen, and all the actors together also just perform in such a synergy that it's almost infectious. You are constantly staring at the screen, excited to see what happens next, devastated with them because they just made their camaraderie feel so so believable. Madam does give in to a lot of sports film cliches, and you see it coming from miles away. पर जो डायलॉग राइटिंग है वो काफी जगह पर काफी स्मार्ट है सो यू लेट दैट थिंग गो एक प्रॉब्लम मैदान का ये है कि दिस अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस वेयर इट डस द टेल डोंट शो थिंग व्हिच आई एब्सोल्युटली हेट बट आई वाज आल्सो कांड ऑफ विलिंग टू लेट दैट गो बिकॉज़ ऑफ हाउ वेल द सेकंड हाफ टर्न्स आउट वी टॉक अबाउट दैट इन द पिच बट आई स्टिल बी ऑनेस्ट व्हेन देयर इज दैट लाइन वेयर रहीम होम्स मैदान में उतरना 11 पर दिखना एक 
I was swept off my feet. I was just entirely invested in this film. I feel like Ajay Devgan's baritone kind of voice suits it so well. In a dialogue like this, you're going to be swayed. I am a simple person. I hear a dialogue like this and I clap. That's that's just how simply I view cinema. I take a mini detour to the background score. There are parts in this film where the background score does work, but kahi kahi it just feels very overwhelming. You kind of realize that if the film was a little nuanced, or the characterization was better, that the characters' caricature didn't look like that, then this kind of background score wasn't necessary only for the film to make you feel what it wants you to feel. The film's music is phenomenal. I love the entire soundtrack. My favorites are Ranga Ranga and Mirza. Both songs that are just so good to listen to. Instant favorites. But I also admit that Mirza Kana is very good. But we did not need the entire song in this film. That sequence just feels a little too stretched out. No matter how well Ajay Devgan and Priya Mani have portrayed their roles here. Speaking of Priya Mani, she plays Rahim's wife here. And I genuinely really liked how the kind of moments of domesticity are written between these two characters. हम जो सिनेमा में बहुत बार केमिस्ट्री की बात करते हैं वे व्यू इट इन अ वेरी वन टोन वे दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दैट कैन आल्सो एग्जिस्ट आई टॉक अबाउट दिस आई थिंक ड्यूरिंग रॉकी और रानी की प्रेम कहानी का रिव्यू वेयर केमिस्ट्री कैन एग्जिस्ट इन ऑलवेज इवन इन द सिंपल डोमेस्टिसिटी इवन इन जस्ट कंफर्ट विद ईच अदर दैट इज द काइंड ऑफ केमिस्ट्री दैट वी सी बिटवीन द टू एक्टर्स हियर बिटवीन अजय देवगन एंड प्रिया मनी एंड इट इज ट्रूली जस्ट Kind of beautiful to see on screen. Because when Rahim Sab as a man, as a character, देखने को मिलता है through his relationships with his wife, his son, his daughter, all of that. It doesn't get a lot of space, which is fine because at the end of the day, Madan does end up becoming a sports film more than kind of a biography. Rahim tragically passed away in 1963 after battling cancer. After the year where the Indian football team had a career-defining match in the 1962 Asian Games in Jakarta. There are parts where they delve into the politics surrounding those Asian Games. There are parts where they deal with the controversy that happened when the Asian Games were hosted in Indonesia in 1962. But usko bhi zada nuance nahi hai. It doesn't actually delve into why things happened, and that's why it ends up becoming kind of episodic instead of actually getting into the heart of the matter. Despite that, just the games, just the way that everything is shot. This film genuinely becomes magical in the second half, and that is primarily because the cinematographer and the action director. Thanks to action director R P Yadav and cinematographer Fedor Leas, I hope I'm getting their names right. The last key to sequence, especially I think the last a half an hour, is adrenaline filled completely. The action direction is fabulous. Just the kind of perspective shifts in cinematography are also seamless. If you're going to this film to watch the sports, Madan is not going to disappoint you. If you're going into it for like nuance and a lot of mature characterization, then you might leave a little disappointed. Even as someone who has a kind of bare bones understanding of football. जो भी रहीम साहब के टैक्टिक्स थे वो बहुत आसानी से समझ में भी आ जाते हैं बिकॉज द फिल्म शोज इट सो वेल विजन अ मैन ऑफ सईद अब्दुल रहीम स्टैचर समन हैड सच अ जस्ट एन इरिप्लेसेबल इफेक्ट ऑन फुटबॉल इन इंडिया डिजर्व द फिल्म दैट रिस्पेक्टेड दैट एंड डिस्पाइट ऑल ऑफ इट्स फ्लॉज मैदान वो फिल्म है माय रेटिंग फॉर अजय देवगन स्टारर मैदान इज 3.5 स्टार्स आउट ऑफ 5